Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this Vixen makeup and hair look right here. So starting with the eyes, I'm first applying a primer to make sure my eye look comes out vibrant and lasts all day. Then I'm using a dark gray eyeshadow stick. I'm gonna use this as my base and I'm applying that in a half moon shape onto my lid, going just above my crease. I'm taking a small shadow brush and blending out that eyeshadow stick so it's smooth and even and I'm softening up that jagged edge. On top of that, I'm going in with this bright green pigment. So I'm applying this with a wet brush which really makes the color pop and it also ensures that the pigment sticks to my lid and stays put. So I'm concentrating that towards my inner corner and then I'm gently sweeping that outward. For my crease color, I'm using this nude eyeshadow palette and I kind of just swirl my brush into these two colors right here and I'm going to work that right at the edge of where the green and the dark gray stop just to add some of that color right there, bring it all together. And now going back to the eyeshadow stick, I'm lining my waterline so I get that deep set defined eye look. Then I'm brushing on some of the green pigment right on top of that. Next, I'm going in with a black liquid liner and lining my upper lash line. I'm starting off by making my wing first. I always kind of just like to make the wing first. And then I'm working that in towards the inner eye. Some mascara for my upper and lower lashes. And then I'm taking these double up false lashes and carefully applying those. So that's the eye look guys, super bold green eyes. I'm really, really loving this vibrant green. Okay, so moving on to foundation. Today I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Clinique did sponsor this and sent me some of their foundation to try out. So I'm just dabbing that onto my face and I like that it has this doe foot applicator that I'm using right here. It just really helped me to apply the right amount of product, only what I needed. I didn't feel like I was wasting anything with this. And then with a damp makeup sponge, I'm blending that all in. So this is a full coverage matte foundation, which is really good for bold looks like this. It just smooths everything out and gives you that airbrushed look and it doesn't feel heavy, which I was really pleased about. I did notice though that it looked a little dark when I first applied it, but once it dried, it just kind of melted into my skin shade. So it might apply a little dark at first, but it does melt into your skin. And since this is a two-in-one, it can be used as a foundation or a concealer. And I usually use a concealer to highlight. So I'm taking a lighter shade of this and applying that to my under eye area and down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm gonna blend that out with the same sponge. So the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer is 27 bucks and comes in 20 different shades. You can get matched for your perfect shade by visiting your local Clinique counter. And you can also get a seven day sample of any foundation, which is pretty cool. All right, next I have to set my makeup and I'm using a translucent powder for that. I'm applying that on top of the concealer, my chin and my forehead as well. And then sweeping that away with a fluffy brush. I'm going in with a bronzer to make my cheekbones a bit more prominent. So I'm applying that right underneath my cheekbones to help bring them out. And using a small shadow brush in that same bronzer, I'm sweeping it down the sides of my nose. I'm gonna do a little contouring. And once I have applied, I'm gonna go in with my finger and buff out those harsh lines, just smooth it all out. Now I'm taking this shimmery highlight and applying that to the high points of my cheeks. And my cupid's bow. Then for the lips, first I'm using this mauve liner and applying that all over. I'm going to completely fill in my lips with this liner. 
using a pinkish nude matte lipstick. I'm applying that right in the center of my lips. I'm just concentrating that in the middle. And then on top of that lipstick, I'm applying a bit of gloss for some shine and just to bring the whole lip look together. I'm gonna set everything with some makeup spray and then my makeup is complete. So for my hair today, I'm rocking this red hair I just got from RPG Show. Um, and this is one of their wigs that came with a pre-plucked hairline. I've been really having fun playing around with color lately, if you guys have not noticed. And today I really want some volume, some really big, bouncy hair. So I'm going to throw some big curls in it. Sectioning off some hair, I'm taking like medium-sized sections. And then I'm going to do one pass with my flat iron and then i'm going to go back and curl that piece going backwards away from my face after that i'm taking the hair and winding it around my finger to gather it up and make a pin curl and then i'm going to pin that flat to my head So I did that all over until all of the hair was curled and I made about 13 pin curls total and then once they have cooled down I'm going to remove the hairpins and then finger comb and just play with it, fluff it and shape it and that is pretty much it. And here is the finished look, everyone. A really striking green smoky eye look and red diva curls. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.